you know, it's been 20 years, 20 years, you know, and 20 years ago, there was this channel. It used to be called the family channel, but Jaime Simons was like, you know what we need to do? We need to buy our own channel. And he did. And the channel went from family channel to Fox family. And Fox family had some awesome shows. Awesome shows. Yes, sadly, they did have the S Club 7. <laughs> it's like, yeah, apparently my, my auntie was like, you love them. Like, oh, <laughs> it's like me loving those guys. Oh, the only thing most likely if I did like them is because of the girls. That's about it. The girls. Anyways. So what they had was monster... Monster Farm was one of them. Monster Rancher was moved over there. Brace Face. They also had Bad Dog, which Bad Dog was actually a good one. That was a good series. I mean, it sucks that there's so many series. I mean, Brace Face is kind of like, uh, you know, if it, it survives, it survives. If it doesn't survive, it's all good. Of course, it will kind of help those around who are like, I have braces and I'm getting made fun of. And it's like, yeah, that actually is a good series for that individual to watch, which hopefully they might be on YouTube or someone has it. Hopefully let's see anything else. Uh, Pee Wee's Playhouse. And that's how I saw Pee Wee's Playhouse. They had Adam's family, the new Adam's family show. They hosted Goosebumps for a many times. They did kind of host the Goosebumps. Uh, let's see. They had, of course, movies. Lots and lots of movies. Kind of like the same formula as it is today. From ABC Family to Freeform. They did do the movies. Weirdly enough, they have the 700 Club. And it's like... I can actually say it's okay, but as soon as they said some messed up comments about Barack Obama, it's like, dude, but you're supposed to be Christian. People are people, you know, you're supposed to look at their heart, look at their insides, not look at the freaking skin. I mean, what the frick? <laughs> it's like, yeah, you don't supposed to do that. You don't supposed to do that. I could preach if I want to, but guess what? I'm not going to do it. So 700 Club has been there since the beginning. No idea about the family channel, but... Somehow they got that nailed down, just like they have it for CW, used to be WB, nailed down. And they're like, we would like to have ours right there at, I think they moved. I think they wasn't there to begin with, because if Pokemon came in 1997 and 2.30, and then you had um, Bill Cosby show at 2 o'clock, I think. Yeah, and then you had Rescue Heroes and stuff, but Rescue Heroes came later, and that's when 700 Club took that slot from 2 to 3 o'clock. But beforehand, it wasn't that. So I have no idea if they... I don't think they always were there, but somehow they acquired that place too. So they have two places where they, they are, and it's like... It's not like I'm being like, oh, they totally suck. It's just that there's just some things of where it's like, uh, you kind of... Uh, anyways, let's just keep going with Fox Family. But Fox Family had some good stuff. I mean, seriously, it was so good. And did they have Power Rangers at that point? No, they didn't actually show Power Ranger episodes there, actually. Yeah, crazy enough, no, they didn't show Power Rangers. They didn't show anything. When Jet X happened, when Disney bought it, that's when Power Rangers showed up. Beforehand, they had just their own programming. I, oh yeah, they had Oh No Bill, Oh No Mr. Bill Presents. They had the four friends or Jeff and his three friends, something like that. They had so many freaking damn good stuff. They had some good shows there. It just sucks that Disney had to frick it all over. I mean, let's look at what they're doing in free form right now. <laughs> He's like, yes, let's go Jerry Skip hopping a jump to free form right now. Free form. Well, this is a bad. This is a bad example. They have the good dinosaur, um, Moana, Maleficent. So basically, they're going Disney up in this piece. And of course, they do have Cloak and Dagger. I'm going to miss that one. Freaking damn it. Monsters, Inc. 700 Club from 11 to 12 p.m. 12 a.m. 11 p.m. 12 a.m. 
Hunchback and Notre Dame, Paid Advertising, Food Ninja, and then we have the 2700 Club from 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock a.m. And then you have more paid advertising. Well, I'm pretty sure when it came to, it's like I can't really say for sure, but for Fox Family, I'm pretty sure they had some good stuff all the time. Instead, they start at 7 a.m. Okay, here we go. Reba. They have Reba, then they have 700 Club, and what was this? Interactive. What the frick? And then you have the middle, then you have the good dinosaur again. <laughs> and then you have the Hunchback and Notre Dame again. They have Monsters Inc. again. Then you have Shrek, and it's like in Shrek forever after. And then Pretty Little Liars, the perfectionists. And then the 700 Club, and then um, Troop Beverly Hills, and the next day after that they have oh so you mean to tell me if i wake up seven o'clock in the morning oh looks like i have a thing to do at seven o'clock in the morning yes no having to freaking deal with spongebob's ass <laughs> shrek and then after shrek shrek forever after cars the parent trap so as you can see they repeat stuff too but this actually isn't exactly how they are like. They had like lots of freaking drama crap. But considering I'm doing this in a weekend or close to the weekend, you can't really see and understand what they have. But basically, they transform Fox Family into kids all the time. Kids, you rule. Kids, you're so damn awesome. We love you, kids. Make sure you watch here yeah. to. Well, we're going to go to the teenagers, especially the freaking girls. And there was this one show, it was kind of wolves or something. It was a werewolf. And it's like, I used to own this town. Then things went upside down. It's like, yeah, that song, that's kind of like how the song went when it came to this intro. So they did, it's like, yeah, Fox family, they did have some drama for teenagers, but it welcomed kids. As for the crap that's going on with freaking Freeform and ABC Family, it's not welcoming to kids. Not really. Kids will see it as freaking damn boring. Yeah, it's like, seriously, kids think it, kids will see it as freaking damn boring. It's like, do they even do anything for kids besides movies? No. No. So, as you can see, Fox Family was the freaking awesome joint to be at. And I guess well, I can say that maybe, just maybe when it came to JetX, they did have something to do. They did actually give something to kids. But these days, it's like they don't have anything. I mean, if they really, truly wanted Disney XDs and say, we'll take that for a minute. But instead, it's like, no, they're slowly doing that. They're slowly doing that. And plus, Miraculous is not even on Freeform either, which is like, well, it's a good idea to, if you want to expand the children, which no, Freeform actually is supposed to be going for teenagers anyways. So they truly went to the plunge and said, nope, this is for teenagers. Teenagers, 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 and adults too, but teenagers. And it's like, my goodness, guys, I... I miss the old days of where Fox family was freaking damn awesome. And it's like, I'm not a kid anymore. Yes, I know. But the shows were freaking damn awesome and expands. It's like, we don't have that crap anymore. And I guess technically it did die with the same era. Or it's like, we don't have that crap anymore. Or we have these weirdo freaking cartoons that they're not sure if they're going to get a second season or anything. But they just want to have their season heard. Like, for instance, let's go with Kids WB. They had one show called Generation. I mean, yeah, Generation O. They had another one called Detention. They had, I think, technically Monster Germs or whatever that was called. That one actually did have a good release. That was actually did did have a good release. Um, the Zeta Project actually can't be thrown into that because that was actually one that they were like, it was a pretty good series. It was pretty thought out. Yes, there was a spinoff even with Static Shock. But it's like, dude. They were trying to make a series, lots of series that happened. Oh, what about Mucha Lucha? Yeah, let's not forget about Mucha Lucha. They made it to a decent part and even got a movie. It's like, you know you got it made when your freaking cartoon show gets a movie. But in closing, it's just that 
We don't have that anymore. I mean, yeah, we can go to Cartoon Network and say, yeah, there were some weirdos. But the thing is, is that when it comes to TV shows, they don't look uniform. When it comes to Sponge, when it comes to SpongeBob and Nickelodeon, you know, SpongeBob and uh, the SpongeBob lovers of, um, they love their slut. They have a uniform thing. I mean, yes, they did actually try to branch out and stuff, but the thing is, is that they show uniform. Their shows are freaking damn uniform. I mean, technically, if we look at this Rise of the Ninja Turtles, wow, what the frick? <laughs> yeah, all this week. You have Loud House. You have Harvey Beaks, I think, is actually now canceled. <laughs> you have freaking Henry Danger. You have SpongeBob, of course. Of course, you have SpongeBob. Wait, they got King of the Hill, too? I guess, yeah, I forgot that they're actually linked to Comedy Central somehow. I don't know how, but okay, forget. They have Paw Patrol, which that's again for kids. I miss Face. You have Face. Rest in peace, buddy. Top Wing. Paw Patrol and Top Wing looks like very uniform. I have no idea where the freak Dora Explorer went, but she's gone. <laughs> it's like she's freaking damn gone. Uh, let's see. Do they have any other show? Oh, Crashy's Cousins for Life. Uh, they had um, Night Squad. They have Game Shakers. Just, just note that. Look at all the shows. The shows look or they sound close together. That's that's it's like there's no freaking random rando Ben 10 Craig of the Creek Amazing World of Gumball Total Drama Rama Teen Titans Son of a Big Go there's their whore Um We Bear Bears Those guys all together. Oh, yeah. Steven Universe has ended crazy enough. He's going to get a movie and then that's it. No more Steven Universe. Uh, Let's see any other ones that's missing. Um, OKKO, which is missing right now. Apple and Onion, I think I canceled, hopefully. But just notice that, well, technically Apple and Onion is kind of the random randos. And as you can see, the randos got canceled, but they kind of got canceled. Not because they look different. It's because their writing sucked ass. Just saying. But I'm just saying, everything looks too damn uniform. It looks close to actually each other. That's accepted. There's nothing that actually breaks the mold and be like, whoa, whoa. And generate, I mean, just have a mismatch of characters. You have a mismatch of cartoons that are not uniform, but these look uniform. Back in the day, things just was jangled up. It's like, yeah, the cart, the morning, the Saturday morning blocks, kid blocks, they just jumble them up. It's like they don't look like the same. It's like the story is great, but you don't need to get used to the fact of, oh, they look kind of close together. But yeah, I miss I miss Fox family. I miss it so much. When I find out that Fox family turned to ABC family, which was. I think I think like at least two years after they were bought and Disney had control of Fox family. That was when I found out that they changed to the ABC family because I didn't have cable anymore. And it was like, oh my gosh, what the frick? It's like, yeah, what the frick? No, no, no. Fox family was freaky damn awesome. And you just fricked it over. I mean, it's kind of okay that you guys actually did allow Digimon 4 to be on there along with how they actually allowed Fox to have Digimon season 4 too which I wish you would have continued on with that deal I really wish you did because if you continued on with that deal then I think textions are that Data Squad would get more viewers even though oh my gosh Fox why did you put season 4 at 7.30am weekdays that is the most horrible and bull crap of moves man just like these guys. It's like just like Disney today. 5.30 a.m. for Miraculous. And then 2 to 3.30. 2 to 3 p.m. Are you fucking kidding me? But this is just a tribute to Fox Family. Fox Family, man. 
I miss you so much. And yes, when you're a family channel, you had family matters. And yes, the family channel was pretty cool, but most likely I don't know anything except for they had family matters. <laughs> but as soon as they turned to Fox family, it was like, let's party. Yeah, let's party. And I guess technically in a way, because let me just do the sad story about it one more time. The sad story is that the reason why Fox Kids fail and Fox Family failed is because they bought the Family Channel and then it turns out they didn't actually have the money to do that. So it was like a big, huge risk that hopefully might have paid off, but it didn't. And why Jaime Sabans wasn't like, oh, that was my bad. I have millions of dollars. I'll pay off all the stuff so you guys don't have to go belly down yeah it's like so you don't have to get screwed over i have millions of dollars so i'm going to help you guys out and then as soon as you guys are evened out and you have like bunch of buku money then i'll take back my money it's like why didn't you do that and the sad part is that he didn't do it nope he didn't do it at all he didn't do it so since he didn't do it oh we got into this freaking damn mishap in the first place of why Power Rangers suck, technically. Technically, that's exactly what happened. But I do miss Fox Family. And of course, it's kind of funny to look at how Disney's doing this and Ben doing this is that they had infomercials and Fox Family, on the other hand, they only just had the 700 Club. They didn't have infomercials. And since they didn't have infomercials, they had for 23 hours kids tv shows 23 hours just like how cartoon network used to do it except well cartoon network didn't even have to you know have 700 club or any you know which i mean cartoon network is still doing it but it's just that they aren't doing it the way they used to when they first began but anyways, Fox family, you will always still have something inside my heart. You always will be inside my heart. Oh, yeah. Don't forget about the terrible thunder lizards and eek. <laughs> yes, they had that, too. They had Bobby's world. So basically, they had all of the old school Fox shows. All the Fox shows could actually show up there. And more than anything, it was the terrible thunder lizards and eek that showed up there the most. Well, oh well. I miss you guys. I miss you. I wish it would have worked out. I wish Jaime Sabans wasn't so stupid of an idiot. Because if he wasn't such an idiot, I know Fox Family wouldn't exist. But at least we would still have Fox Fox Kids. And it's better to have Fox Kids than Fox Family and Fox Kids and then gone. And I think the Dinosaurs show actually showed up on Fox Family too.